Okay, here's an interesting order. Guy doing his own thing a little bit. Getting uh, 25 foot of a uh, little better vac hose, orange, one and a half inch. Uh, he's getting 50 footer of Parker Parflex with a Joe valve on it, regular gaiters. And he's getting female QDs the, uh, without the QD cover on it. That works. And he's getting four stainless gaiters. Uh, this is Eric Bacon Fiber Fresh in San Pedro, California. Thanks, Eric. Okay, here's a few I wanted to discuss going out today. Uh, Joe Duo Care, longtime cleaner, gone restoration specialist here over the last few years. The best ones don't quit their cleaning accounts, though. Here he is buying 300 liners and a bunch of cool cuffs. He still cleans. Six swivel sets lasted him about three and a half years, which is pretty typical. Here's a order from Michael Britton getting a starter kit of cool cuffs with the swivel sets. And he's getting a couple of Joe valves to go with that. And then over here is um, uh, Columbine Cleaning getting a, a backup dual port front lid for their uh, silver bullet. And a couple extra uh, bungee straps for backup. And then Sean Rothstein of Radiant Rugs in Spokane getting some metal. Uh, he's getting a red injection sprayer supply line, ready made, ready to go with gator crimps on it. Uh, Velcro strap for the sprayer, the injection sprayer. Uh, see three Ultimate QDs, two orange and one green. A couple of stainless males to back that up, and couple of eighth inch brass QDs flow through type and, a, and one brass quarter inch flow through type. Notice it's important to specify the thread type you want. Just check the equipment before you place your order uh, but you'll notice see the male can come with either male threads or female threads. All the VT wands use the male thread but a lot of you guys are buying them for your sprayers, multi-sprayers and such. Those use female threads, as I recall. So um, on the eighth inch and then on the on the quarter inch flow throughs, those are mainly for the injection sprayers. They, they normally use the female thread too. So your sprayers typically use the female, but be sure just, you know, if that's too confusing, just be sure to check your equipment before you place your order and be ready to tell us whether you want male or female threads, okay? Thanks, guys. Okay, here's a nice one from Renew Systems, that company I was telling you about up in Illinois. They're moving and shaking. If you're looking for a good opportunity, pack your bags, get on a plane, go work for those people. They seem to be got it figured out, growing fast, buying all the right gear. Look here, looks like they're gearing up another truck. Four stair climbers. Whole mess of cool cuffs. They already got a bunch of swivel sets. See, she only got one in here, but a bunch of male swivels, starter cuffs, barbed reducers. They're two and a half guys. Got them some cool cuff lube, Joe valve, little tub silicone, rebuild kit, ultimate soft touch, um, brass strainer assembly, three top hats, whole bunch of stubby check valve jet screen assemblies. Some stainless males, some green ultimate QDs, a wash downer, jet cleaning tool, whole mess of corner guards, and some more red hose. I still got to run uphill and get them some more corner guards, make them a supply hose back up for their wand, and I think then they'll be set for this next truck. Seriously, hop a plane, go work for Renew and make some serious money. Oh, they're getting a stair tool too. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Hey, wanted to finish up the Grossman order from earlier today. Just built the guy's stair tool. Nice little one and a half inch tube, uh, S-bend, 10 inch head, $130 delivered tool. Got the ultimate brass soft touch with stainless mail, yellow jacket, nice little sleeve there. Good quality supply line, probably never gonna fail. Got a quarter inch, NPT threads on each end instead of compression fittings. Man, I hope you guys hate compression fittings as much as I do. That's that those days are over with. 29502 jets down there, 10 inch head. Did I say that? Nice S-bend, decent little handle. 
nice little tool, especially for the price. Uh, last part of his order was the best part of his order. I had to go up the hill and get some more parts to finish it, but here, we, here they are, the brass hex caps from Westpac to fit into their soft touch trigger valve. Going into winter, so the first guy that's done it, congratulations, Grossman. Three quarter inch wrench, real easy. Pull out the stainless hex cap, replace it with brass. There it is, simple. Why? Winter. Just like an engine's got freeze plugs in the blocks, uh, you can put these brass hex caps in there and they work just like freeze plugs, theoretically anyway. You screw up, leave your tools out on the truck, it freezes, you go out the next morning, all you're going to see is this plug about six inches away. It got popped out. Way better than having to change a pop supply line or a crack trigger valve or do some easy outs on the jets or call in for a whole new manifold. I've had all that happen in the winter and you guys probably have too. Can all be prevented with these little inexpensive brass hex caps. Every year Westpac tells me they, they're out of soft touch trigger valves because all the suppliers are calling. Hey, any of them telling you guys about the brass hex cap? Nope, I'm the only guy in the industry warning you, right? Or not warning you, you already know about it, just reminding you. This guy is thinking ahead. Before winter, he's doing it. They ought to come stock, but you know, that's not my valve. There you go. So you got your winterized soft touch. Theoretically, he'll be safe if he screws up and leaves his equipment out in the truck. Be sure to use a little cool cuff lube when you screw the brass in so it doesn't squeak too loud. Uh, he's got him some extra 110015 jets with jet screens because you know they do clog. He's got him a jet cleaning tool, but he can also change them out with the wands he got from me. They're custom. You can just one hand on the spray bar, the other hand on a half inch wrench. You can back out a jet and change it in about a minute. So he's all set. Thanks, Grossman. A couple going out this morning we need to discuss here on the left. It's Matt Polanski of Loveland, Colorado. A steam carpet cleaner. Been around forever. Runs a tri Triton White Magic. Remember those? Good, strong unit. I think he's still using it. Just got him a high heat courtesy hose. Nine feet long. Stainless gator crimps. Uh, an ultimate QD with a blue cover and a stainless mail, Joe valve, and a couple of quarts of Joder side and a couple of quarts of nectar. And then we got a big T for Texas, Carpet Tech in Lubbock, my home state, if you didn't know it. Uh, Chet Carpet Tech owns half of West Texas, I think, maybe the whole West Texas by now. Got him 30 Joe valves for. I think he puts them between all of his 50-foot solution lines on like six or eight or ten Aerotex. That guy's crazy all over West Texas. And he got ten more cool cuffs. About every six months he buys about ten more cool cuffs. Interesting story on the Joe valves in Texas. I'm from Texas, as I said. Grew up in a suburb of Dallas called Farmer's Branch. Get an order one day from a guy in Farmer's Branch. Oh my God, buying a whole bunch of Joe valves. What's up with that? Turns out he works for a supplier right there in that town. Y'all all know him. He's all over the internet. The guy actually was sneaking in my Joe valves and putting his name on his website as if he had manufactured these things. Unbelievable. Well, I cut the guy off. Farmer's Branch guy's a cool, cool dude. He actually quit the supplier in Dallas here recently. But it doesn't stop the supplier from telling his lies. The Joe Val's made by a guy named Joe. Okay? Joe's from Texas, but he don't live there no more. He lives in Washington State, Seattle, Washington. So when all you hicks from North Carolina and so forth call me and say, where are you out of? Remember this big T. I'm from Texas. Thank you all.